Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Absolutely love the energy here today. Okay, I was asked to have a look at Mums of Liberty, uh, entertainment only. I had never heard of them before, so I did a little bit of research. Now, I gather what happened is that it started off with a particular uh, person, Tina de Solvish, I'm sure I've butchered that completely, Tina somebody or other, uh, who lost her position on a school board to someone who was more liberal in Florida, I believe it was, and got really quite snotty about it. She was, got very upset. She lost her position on the school board. So what happened is she started then teeing up with, with um, some other mothers of the far right wing persuasion and started attacking the uh, lady who had won the position properly through an election uh, won the won the election onto the school board started attacking threatening connected up with uh, some uh, like-minded women from um, other states and they formed this mothers of liberty they are a far-right group. They have been photographed, uh, the leaders of it, with, with Proud Boys, although they will deny it till the cows come home. But they are very... Um, they're anti-LGBTQI. They are very um, aggressive towards minority groups. Uh, and they, they present themselves as good old homebody housewives with a who want to look after their kids but they're actually very they've been threatening teachers they've been threatening threatening administration mem um, school administrators they've been they've been uh, socially very aggressive towards school board members who uh, don't agree with their agenda uh, and they have outed uh, LGBTQI kids who had not come forward to their own parents as of yet, which has caused uh, extreme distress for those kids that have been outed. And it's just all really quite um, promoted by Tucker, spelt with an F, Carlson. So I don't know whether that <laughs> explains it a bit clearer, but they are just a really... Uh, hiding behind social media, nasty, nasty group of, ah, uh, how do I put it, women with an agenda, um, bitter, bitter women is how I'm feeling it, bitter because frustration in their own lives perhaps, I don't know, usually when, when, when there's anger and bitterness and fear or, or just aggression, it comes out of fear and, and frustration and disappointment. But okay, let's have a look. I mean, how sad that, you know, these kids just can't be who true to themselves. Okay, I just want to see, I'm going to do a quick reading on this using my Gilded Tarot Royale. Mums of Liberty, what is the future holding for the Mums of Liberty? I just felt really um, sickened when I was reading on it. I only read the one article uh, and it was about some, uh, I think it was in vice.com or something. It was the article about a mother who had been drawn in when her son was outed as being, as being gay. Uh, she was contacted by these Mums of Liberty and literally um, tried to be brainwashed. The mother did extract herself and realise what was going on and she realised that they were trying to turn her into a, a foot soldier for them. It was just... Um, but, you know, it all came across as apple pie and sweet cherry mums sort of thing. So they're quite dangerous, this group. But let's have a look at Mums of Liberty. What does the future... Where are they going with this? What's going to happen? Mums of Liberty. They have, they have teachers in fear. Now, their biggest um, congregation is in Florida. No surprises there. Mums of Liberty. Their biggest chap, their most numerous chapters. They have chapters, chapters. <laughs> Makes them sound like cult 
cult members from well I suppose they are um, okay sorry sorry if my derision is coming through I just I, I just don't don't like this energy at all okay show me mums of that one okay thank you mums of liberty let's have a look right interesting reaping what they sow really important I mean if you are living in hate and fear and nastiness and attacking and and um, just all these awful awful negative energies you will reap what you sow this is the energy that they're sitting in and to be honest I don't know if my camera is very good at picking this up but it's a very bitter look on the face of this woman it's it's hate feeds hate internally it's not a good energy to be in it's it's just really toxic um oh i just yeah but anyhow reaping what they sow so perhaps okay i'm also thinking that they're getting some financial backing thank you boys financial backing for this they're making money out of it is what i'm getting okay challenged by having to defend themselves seven of wands having to defend the message is the challenge that they're going to be faced with again they're going to end up on the wrong side of history foundation of the reading we have the hierophant which is about the authorities at the foundation here so very possibly there's going to be some sort of yeah we'll see where this goes the authorities going to step in in regards to this school systems that's what i'm getting thank you prickly scalp that's what they're telling me this is about um the the school the overarching school administrators is what i'm getting somewhere here in this okay it's the foundation of because i said what's the going to be the where are they going what's the outcome in the past knight of pentacles manipulation mercenary actions is what i'm getting thank you not manipulation it's the magician get it right um yeah mercenary actions and that's basically what they've been doing is is mercenary actions in in regards to attacking these people who who don't necessarily agree look it's none of their business okay but their mercenary actions in the past are going to bring about the ten of swords complete and utter downfall in the face of the truth they're going to find themselves again wrong side of history here ten of swords find themselves prone with all the swords they're not actually in their back but the swords poised over them okay outcome queen of cups so there is there's a feminine energy being brought forward um, but there is something she has in her cup that is yet to be revealed about these mums of liberty very possibly about the three ringleaders uh, but yeah she's it is a stable calm diplomatic feminine compassionate energy bringing forward something that we have not yet had revealed to us something we've not yet heard about internally oh sorry externally for them wheel of fortune karma coming and biting them on the bum it's about uh, uh, endings endings and endings of what uh, is is dark energy and beginnings of, of light energy internally for them is the um, high priestess there are secrets behind the scenes that have not yet been revealed oh boys they they fleetingly put something in there and then it and then it went but it's okay how do i describe this it's a uh i'm not gonna say oh what the feel was was manipulative feminine spirituality is was the feel the negative side of the high priestess and it's not it's been hidden 
from view is what I'm getting there. But it will be revealed. But that's what's going on internally, is um, the motives, the motives, the, 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 the um, soul behind, the soul energy behind this, this um, movement is, is, behind, is being hidden. It's not being truthful. Okay, hopes and fears, the world. Unity of diversity. Coming, a culmination. An ending. So it is about an ending of this Mums of Liberty, uh, but also about just acceptance. Unity of diversity. Outcome for them, the lover's card. Quite a lot of major arcana. What have we got? One, two, three, four five so far uh, the lovers an unbalanced power struggle an unbalanced agreement contracts and agreements but yeah it, it's about a, a, a power oh I'm just looking at this card okay what you've got here is the the male in the background here fading the masculine energy fading uh, the um, the arrogance, the the my way or the highway part of this partnership, and the compassionate feminine energies coming forward. And if you have a look on his face again, I don't know if my video shows it clearly. He's just got this real aggressive power control look on his face, but he is fading. So it's about an unbalanced partnership where the this. Uh, this um, aggressive masculine was overpowering the feminine, but he is fading. The Nine of Swords, so this is the outcome for the Mums of Liberty. Nine of Swords, uh, anxiety, despair. However, we do have the Owl of Wisdom coming forward through the, the arched window and the feminine energy looking over. So Nine of Swords... Uh, in regards to this, there's a lot of anxiety about what... Oh, it's just awful, awful nightmarish stuff that they're bringing forward. But we have the Owl of Wisdom coming through. Two of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, about juggling about what ship to bring in. In regards to health is what I'm getting. Is it, And health is very much about this um, supporting... supporting um, the care of, of gender affirm affirmation, etc. It's also fi perhaps financially. Oh, thank you, boys. They just gave me a hit that this secret that's going to be revealed that's behind the scenes is something to do with <clears throat> money. Money not, grift, money not going to where it's supposed to go. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, so a legislator, a, a, a confident, this is my Zoe Zephyr <laughs> energy, uh, a confident in her own skin, bringing forward a new message um, in the legislator, uh, perhaps a legislator, Six of Pentacles about the money that passed hands. These are very similar cards um, I'm getting here in regards to, if I look at the next few, in regards to my Zoe Zephyr. About the money that passed hands, the Three of Wands, potentially from overseas, Two of Swords, a crossroads that they're going to have to face in regards to the truth, and then the Ace of Swords, a new truth coming forward. Uh, new truth. So maybe there's um, some legislation going to come forward that's really going to restrict them as I've got the Pyrophant here and the Ten of Swords here. Finding themselves out in the cold as we enter this new start. So what we have here is the Empress. This is the birth of something new. This is about nurturing. This is about abundance for all. Seven of Cups choices um, having to be made in regards to what direction this, this goes in. And then we have our Biden administration card. So, okay. I think they're actually going to get a little... Yeah, they're going to have... To, they're going to... They've stepped over the line is what I'm getting. 
they're going to step over the line, they're going to find themselves in a have a close look position, which is going to be quite ugly <laughs> because there's something um, deceptive going on behind the scenes is what I'm getting, uh, entertainment only. Um, and I see that, yeah, they're on the wrong side of history. So we'll see how that plays out. Thank you for bringing my attention to this group. <laughs> Send some light and love to those that are, are being attacked by them. Okay, love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.